Well, good evening, folks. It's Thursday, and uh, I had that piece of uh, wood out in the shop for the longest time, and I thought about making a, a, a mount for a, a deer head or something like that with it, and I just couldn't get it to jive. And I've got this twisty piece of uh, cedar right there, and I got it sitting down on there, and I'll probably figure out how long or how tall it needs to be and I think I'm just gonna turn that into just a a little old uh, a little old table that somebody could put a, some decoration on or just whatever I've got a few pieces of sil uh, silver so cedar out in the shop the other shop that I might be able to uh, do something with or uh, like on the first end table that I made uh, cut a uh, cut some slabs out of a stump and build it that way but uh, that's what I'm gonna start working on now a kind of another uh, project to keep me busy while I'm trying to social distance uh, not sure when we'll return to the camper the urge is strong to go but uh, we're supposed to supposed to start raining tonight uh, and uh, so and then fr you know, in, into Friday and then uh, again on Sunday and I really don't want to go down there and sit in, the, sit in the camper and not be able to do anything as far as going outside. So I'll just probably kick back here and again continue, uh, continue with the rest of the mess, but at the same time uh, be building something. Um, I will probably put this piece up for sale once I get it built. So um, keep that in mind if you're interested in something like this. Anyhow, I'm going to get back to work and uh, start piecing it together. See you in a few. Okay, I've got it cut down and I've got, I tried to get it as level as I could. I used one of my saw horses uh, to kind of give me a mark. And I may have to I may have to grind on it a little bit to get it to get it where it needs to go. Now I just uh, I need to clean that uh, log up and get it attached. And then once I get that done, then I should be able to uh, put together some sort of top for it, and we'll go from there. So I'll bring it back when I get something else done with it. All right, I've got that thing cleaned up, and uh, I think it's going to be, I had done a, uh, a deal before where I uh, had a three-legged stand, and you, you put most of the weight, this towards the, uh, the outward leg there, and I think doing that, it should be good, so the, the table will kind of be short this way come out this way and uh, I'll uh, add another uh, piece of uh, cedar or I might even use a uh, I got one deer antler left I might be able to well I'm not sure how I'd make that work I'll think about that anyway here we go All right, I got the, uh, I guess the uh, table leg attached to the foot. So now I just gotta come up with a design for uh, the tabletop, and uh, probably do a little more decoration with it, just because. Of course, as I get it put together, we'll find out as simple as more or not. Sometimes it is. Anyhow, I'm going to get back to work on this, and I'll bring you back when I get another little piece of the pi or puzzle put, put on it. All right, I got the, the base docked up. 
I got a little spot right there that's not perfect, but that's going to be the back of the uh, table. So it's not going to really be that big of a deal as far as I'm concerned. I do have to kind of level that, straighten that up a little bit. It's a little high right here on this 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 area. Yeah, let me get the camera on there so you can see that I'm doing. It's high right in here, so I'll have to try to get all that leveled out. And now the debate I've got going on that right there. That is a red cedar board. It's just uh, weathered, and I'm fixing to run it through the planer and bring the red back out in it and get it the same thickness as this pine pallet would. And I haven't decided yet if I want to put the uh, cedar to the center and put the pallet wood on the outside edges. And then I'm going to make a, when I cut that tabletop, I'm basically going to outline the base of this, uh, or the base here. So it's going to have a triangular shape, but it'll be a little bit wider in the back and kind of, kind of come across this way and then round off and then, uh, and I may even shape it, give it the, you know, shape it to the, or trace the shape. I'll get it out here in a minute. My mind goes faster than my mouth can go. Anyhow, I'm just, I'm not sure how I want to run that. It might look better with the, uh, with the uh, cedar to the center and the pine to the outsides. And then uh, I'm going to use uh, rope around the edges of it. And uh, I've got an idea about how I want to do the center of this table. I just not. Uh, I got to get a hold of a, uh, a friend of mine from up in Wisconsin and see if he can can uh, uh, scroll scroll cut me on the scroll saw. Oh, do a cut me out of deer head with the antlers and stuff, and set it down in the middle, and then uh, two part epoxy over the top of it using the uh, rope as a border to keep the epoxy within you know in, inside the in, inside the rope um, I, I guess you'll have to see it but I'm not real eloquent when it comes to getting my thoughts out there uh, verbally I know what I want to do it just <laughs> by the seat of my pants I'll get there but anyway I thought I'd give you a quick update just doing some cosmetic work. I'm going to take the, I will take the blowtorch and burn the fuzzies off of that. Um, so I'll do that here in a few minutes. All right, yeah, I'll just kind of take you around. There's my little gap, like I said, no biggie. But I got the uh, fuzzies and stuff burned off of it. Now, just my observation when I was cleaning up that piece of wood right there, and I, I honestly don't know what kind of wood it is. I'm guessing oak. I could be wrong. But uh, I think it had been charred. This, this had survived a fire, which is kind of cool. Anyhow. So there's that part of it. So for the moment, this can be set aside. I still, like I said, I got to do this this top part here and get it get it leveled off, and uh, I got to also. Uh, I think I'll go ahead and take the torch. Well, I don't know yet. Thought about taking that torch to it now, but I may end up having to run it through the planer also to make sure that my. Uh, Thicknesses are the same between the cedar and the uh, pine, so all right, time to work. Okay, trying to deal with a shortage of uh, material, I'm going to go outside the box and go do a little bit, a little bit unconventional, and so the table will run this way instead of that way. And that gives me enough to kind of follow the shape of this table. And I can roll, I can pull that back some. 
however I want to do it. So I think, I think that's how we're going to do it. All right. I'll kind of kick it around. Well, good morning. It's Saturday. I just finished running these uh, pieces of wood through the uh, planer. It's amazing how that turned out, huh? I'm not too worried about what the bottom looks like. I'm fixing to uh, do a little torch work on the top side. That's what it kind of looks like down on the bottom. So I'm going to I'll torch that. And then... Uh, I've already got a, a uh, deer head picked out for a friend of mine to do some scroll work for me. But I still don't, uh, I don't have mine, and of course he's an expert, and I want this to be pretty, because I might sell it, and if I do, it ain't going to be cheap, I can tell you that, because it's going gonna, it's gonna to have some work in it, as far as uh, two-part epoxy and, and some arrowheads that I have and some other stuff. We'll see how that looks when I get it set it up. But anyway, I'm going to get back to work. I just thought I'd give you a quick update, show you where I'm at. I'm fixing to, like I said, torch this and then start gluing the top together. And then I'm going to need to make another little triangular shaped piece that will go up underneath that will attach to the top of this. And then I can turn this upside down and attach it to the tabletop when it's done. Anyhow, I'll get back to work and see you in a few. Got the, I got the uh, grain done up. That's white cedar with a hint of butane. All right. So now I'm going to glue it to this, let it dry, and then glue that one to the other end of it, and then I'll create my pattern from the, uh, the bottom there and uh, cut it out and then start uh, trimming it with rope. Anyway, be back. Okay, I've got those two uh, glued together. And then I had to put them up and down as well as across the, uh, the piece because it wanted to fold up on me. So it'll keep it flat and then keep it drawn together. So when this dries, I will add that section and then uh, I will uh, make my pattern to, to cut out the, uh, and make the top. Or, well, you know, anyway, yeah, that. All right, see you when it dries. I've got the I've got the other segment glued down and uh, when I get that set up get my pattern established and when I get it cut what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay the tabletop on top of this uh, this birch and I'm going to trace it out and I'm going to cut that birch and glue it to the bottom of this tabletop and what that will enable me to do is when I pour that, uh, when I pour the uh, two-part epoxy, it's going to seep down into these, uh, there, is, there is some gaps in the seam there. It's going to seep down in there. But it won't seep and go all the way through uh, the tabletop and drain onto the floor. See, I've run, <laughs> I've run into that before. And... Uh, on the uh, the table, the the top that I made for our um, nightstand. Anyhow, you know, just wait till that dries, 
and uh, get to the next step. All right, while I'm waiting on the uh, glue to dry up a little bit on the tabletop, I've got these three candlestick holders that I was making for the wife. She bought uh, all their, their battery-powered candles, and then one's got a moose, one's got a deer, and the other's got a bear on it. And so I made some different size deals, and of course, that's when I discovered that my Forstner bit was dull, and it kind of took out an area here a little deeper than the rest, so I put some filler in there so that the candle sits level you won't see that once the the candle sitting on it but it uh, soaked up I skipped a step and I know better but I skipped a step now I gotta my uh, urethane act as a acted as a oh uh, uh, yeah it raised the grain so I forgot what they call that yeah anyway you think I know these things, but I'm going to give it a go over with some uh, 220 to knock the grain down a little bit, and uh, we'll uh, put another coat of varnish on it, and hopefully that'll be enough. Anyway, I'll be back. Now I remember what I was trying to think of. It was sanding sealer. <laughs> I, I just get aggravated when I can't remember stupid little things like that. Hmm. Drink more beer. Okay. Got this little project done. It's not soaking up my... Uh... Bar varnish, so we're in good shape. Yeah, just waiting on this. All right, just a quick update on this little deal. They're done. She's not awake yet to see them. I got the candles turned on and I'll turn the lights off. And Anyway, there they are. And then she can uh, put them wherever she wants. All right, back to the uh, table. Okay, we got, uh, it's going to... That way. And bring it around. And... There you go. That's going to be the shape of the table. And then I'll have something to place in the center. All right. Coolio. Okay, I've got this cut out, and uh, the gist of it is, let me, uh, hopefully it, I won't drop the dead gum thing and break it. That's, I've got to uh, level off the uh, leg to get the uh, table to, to be level. But that's kind of the idea I had to follow the base. And then uh, I'm going to give it a rope border, put a deer head in the middle of it that a friend of mine is going to cut out for me. And I'm going to set this table that tabletop down on top of that piece of birch I've got over there that I've got the corner cut out of. And I'm going to glue that top to that birch to kind of give it some additional strength because uh, one, thing that, uh, one thing that you run into when you uh, are uh, using what you have, that white cedar is not exactly as dense as the red cedar, so it has a little bit of a... Uh, it, it'll flex and uh, once I get that uh, top glued to the uh, quarter-inch birch or I think it's even less than that uh, it might be a quarter inch that'll uh, give me some additional strength and then the two-part epoxy when it seeps down into them cracks and stuff 
it won't go completely through the tabletop and onto the ground or my workbench or whatever it is that I'm happen I happen to be using. So anyway, I'm going to get that started, get that cut out, and uh, get it glued together. And I'll bring you back as soon as I get it all uh, put together. All right, there's the piece that I have cut out, and it will go on the bottom of the tabletop. I don't know if I've got the got a set up right or not. Some something like that. I may have to flip it over, but that's uh, that's it. Yeah, I got to flip it over, and that'll go underneath. And then I can when I pour that epoxy in there, it can if there's any cracks or anything like that, it can just on down anyway all right i'll get that glued together and give it a couple of hours and then i'll start uh, some additional work putting some rope around the edges and and uh prepping it for i gotta get some measurements out to a friend of mine so he can uh, scroll cut that deer head for me all right be back hey i've i've got that bottom uh, glued to the well I've got that piece glued to the bottom of the tabletop there we go and now I'm going to use the uh, the weight of the uh, leg and base to uh, keep pressure on that glue and uh, here in a couple of hours I'll come out and I will get my uh, grinder and I will work on the edge here and get it prepped and then uh, like I said I'm gonna run some uh, probably uh, probably uh, let me get my big fat fingers out of the phone. I'll use it to uh, I might put two two um, strands of rope around that edge, and then I'm gonna have one above so that it contains the uh, two part epoxy, so it'll be kept within the rope, and then uh, go from there. All right, I'll bring you back when uh, I start working on it again and, and uh, get my angle grinder out to clean that up. See you shortly. All right, in case y'all are wondering, this addition to the top of that leg, I added so that I can use it as a mount for the tabletop. So I will screw in from the bottom and into the bottom of the tabletop because uh, I won't be able to do it from the top side because it will be uh, covered with two-part epoxy. So. And I'll probably take my uh, grinder and kind of try to round the edges there off a little bit because you might be able to see it if you're sitting down in a chair or something. So I want to clean it up. But yeah, that's the story behind that deal. So I'll get it, uh, get it going. There's really nothing more I can do here other than uh, get it ready to uh, receive the deer skull. That I'm having cut out, but I'm waiting on the uh, the bottom to to dry up, and then I can take it out in the yard with my grinder and uh, clean these uh, edges up, and then uh, put the rope around it. So that's where we're at. I think what I'll do uh, bring this particular video to a close because I'm probably running out of memory on this phone. And uh, when I start, uh, I'll start part two, uh, getting the, uh, the edges and stuff ready for this uh, tabletop. So, guys, stay tuned for part two. Thank you for watching. If you like it, give it a thumbs up, share it, 
and uh, I have an open invitation. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you and God bless.